Here's the question number eight. It says a projectile is fired from horizontal ground with speed v and projection angle theta. When the acceleration due to gravity is g, the range of the projectile is d. If it uh, if at the highest point of its trajectory, the projectile enters a different region where the effect of gravitational value becomes g prime, which is g by 0.81. Then the new range becomes d prime, which is n d. So we need to find this n. Now let's say this is initial velocity u theta. This is our original projectile. So uh, range is given as the horizontal component of velocity into time of flight. For first case, d is going to be like v cos theta into t, where t is under root two h by g. Now for the second case, we need to find again the range d prime. So this d prime will consist of two parts. So this is first, which is going to be basically d by two, and the second, which we need to find out. Now you we can write like this. Uh, this first part will be uh, u cos theta into half of the time of flight of the original journey, and since horizontal component of velocity will not change it because it was from the highest point, so uh, this will be like half of there. So that that distance can be written as v cos theta into uh, t prime by two, where t prime is the time of flight if this gravity was there. Now this t prime will be under root two h by g prime because both will share the same height because this happened, uh, this boundary happened to the max height. From here we can find t prime by t the ratio of these two so that will be square root of g upon g prime. Now g is g g prime is z divided by 0.81 so that turn out to be square root of 0.81 which is 0.90. So that's a new time time of flight. Now this t prime value can be substituted from here, so it will be like d is prime is equal to u v v cos theta as a common. That's t by two plus this was t prime by two. That's t prime could be written as 0.90, and there will be by two. After simplification, we can take this t as a common, so it becomes v cos theta into t. That t is the original one, and this will be one plus 0.9. That is 1.9 by two. Now this is the original range. That is d. And this is 1.9 by 2. That is 0.95. So d prime is 0.95 times t. D prime is 0.95 times t. So n must be 0.95. That's n we were looking for. So this will become our response for this question number eight. Thank you.